Yo, 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 what up, it's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you NPV Parlay of the Day slash Night slash NPV Picks and Predictions for June 14th, 2023. Alright guys, we're coming off of a, a little rough, rough little night last night, but we're here to turn it around tonight. Uh, some decent pitching matchups today. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we still got some good games. A couple of very intriguing games here, like Orax and Hanshin. Orax took them out yesterday, but yeah we gotta get him trevor bowers pitching tonight and i'm thinking about backing him maybe i don't know his last outing he did pretty well so we're maybe looking into backing him again but anyways guys hit me up in the comments let me know what you think about that or anything you can put one word in the comments you can put 100 words in the comments it's all good just write anything it helps get the video out to more people um, hit that like button. We got to try to get some more likes. I'm hoping uh, we'll get a few tonight after we hit some parlays. That would be nice. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button so you can catch the videos right away when they come out. Uh, we're very, very close to 200. I think last time I looked, we were at 190, 191, something around there. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching the video and you don't mind subscribing, Hook me up. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And yeah, let's get it started then, guys. Alright, so we're going here. The first game on the board over here is going to be the Orox Buffaloes versus the Hanshin Tigers. Uh, pitching for Orox tonight, we have a little Ryui. Sultana, he's 0 1 with a 2.84 ERA. And he's going up against Hanshin's Yuki Nishi, 3 and 4 with a 4.30 ERA. So, therefore, Oryx just won last night. And, uh, I don't know, Hanshin has not been the same. It seems like once this interleague play started here, Hanshin, Chiba Lote, Marines, they've just been falling off, man. They've been on some bad stats of the last 10 games, man. I thought they were going to run away with the divisions, but now I don't know, man. Ordux is right there. You know, it's crazy. But who knows, whatever. It's all good. But anyway, so we like uh, Ordux plus half a run in the first five. We like the under three and a half runs. And then full game, I like Orox plus one and a half. Next game. Next game, we got the Satama Cebu Lions versus the Yumori Giants. Uh, for Cebu, we got Dietrich Enns going. He's one and six with a 4.05 ERA. Going up against Yumori's. Jose Togo, he's he's good. Uh, he's seven and one with a two point five four ERA. Therefore, we like Yamori a lot in this game. We like Yamori first half. Uh, I don't know how many Dietrich ends is gonna give up. I was looking at the first half over, but. I don't know, man. I don't think uh, Togo's giving up many. If he does, one, two at the most. So, we like Yomori. Minus half a run, first five. Uh, then, we got we actually got them on the full game also. Minus a run and a half. Uh, and we think it's going to go... Whoa. Yeah, gonna go over yep over seven so that's not too bad there so I think if it's going over seven it's because you're more scoring more than uh, 
Cebu, so that's why we like uh, them on the run line there. And we like them in the first half. Next game. All right, our next game on the slate is the Hokido Nippon Hand Fighters versus the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars. So here, like we already said, for Yokohama, we got little Trevor Bauer action. He's 3-2 and two with a 4.75 ERA. Uh, he's going up against Takayuki Kelo, who is 4-4 four four with a 2.14 ERA. So, therefore, I was looking at this uh, first five under. My apologies, guys. Got a little phone call there. Sorry about that. All right. So, where we're going here, we were looking at the under, but I don't know, man. I, Yokohama's been scoring runs, too, and I don't want to put all my eggs in the bower again. So... You know, and we got Takayuki Kato is pretty good. 4-4 four four with a 2.14 ERA. I already said this, but uh, I think he's good, man. So I think first half, we're going over 3.5. And, and we're going plus half a run for Nippon. I think Bauer will give up maybe 2, maybe 3. And... Uh, Kato, one or two, maybe, you know, because, uh, Yokohama's been pretty much on fire, man. They've been scoring good. They've been doing a lot of good stuff. Yep, so then, uh, full game. We like the DNA base stars on the money line. Alright, next game. We got the Chiba Lote Marines versus the Trinity Dragons. Uh, it was crazy what happened yesterday, man. I wasn't expecting Trinity to beat them like that. Like, what? <laughs> That's nuts, man. But anyway, so today, pitching for Lote, we got Atsuki Tanichi, Tanaichi. 3-2 with a 2.56 ERA. Going up against Trinity's Hideki Waku. 2-6 with a 3.66 ERA. So, for this game, we're looking right here. We like Trinity plus half a run. And then we like the over two and a half runs. I just feel like, uh, I don't know, I think Lotte is going to score some runs man a little bit like I don't know two one and I think Chinichi will put up the same you know they've been pretty hot man they've been scoring a lot so I don't know I like that one and then for the full game I love the over and then I like Chiba to win finally they're due for a win all right next game we got the Toyo Tohoku Radican Golden Eagles versus the Hiroshima Toyu Carp. And for Radican, we have Masahiro Tanaka pitching 3 and 4 with a 4.24 ERA. And going up against Hiroshima's ace, one of them, Aaron Curry, who is 5 and 2 with a 1.83 ERA. So, this game right here is kind of self-explanatory. We like uh, the under three and a half in the first half, and then we like the carp to win. <laughs> Pretty simple. Those are the two ways I'm going here. And that's that one. I know Radican beat them yesterday. They've been getting me pretty good, man. But I like the carp tonight, man, with their ace going. I don't know, man. Definitely. I wouldn't be too opposed to going that way, maybe, also. I could see that, but... Yeah, we'll keep it on there. Why not? Alright. Next game. Alright, now our last game of the night is the Fukaka Softbank Hawks versus the Tokyo Yakult Swallows. <clears throat> 
for SoftBank, we have Nao Higashihama Pitchin, who is 4 and 5 with a 3.68 ERA. For Yakult, we have KG, KG Takahashi, 2 and 3 with a 4.25 ERA. So for this game right here, we like uh, SoftBank to beat them up a little bit here. We like the over four. We like SoftBank on the run line in the first half. And then we like SoftBank money line. And that's pretty much it. Then, uh, I mean, if you wanted, eh, I don't know about that run line there. I'm probably going to sprinkle a little on the run line, but I don't want to put it into play just to be safe. But I feel like SoftBank can do it. So we will see. All right, guys, if you hang tight, I will bring you maybe parlay of the night. Maybe we just do one here and pick uh, my favorite one from each game and see what happens. You know, That's what we'll do for this because I don't only have... 18 picks or so. Alright, hold up. Alright, guys. Here's our NPB parlay of the night slash day. It's only uh, one play we're doing on this video. We're going to try something new for until uh, we cash one of these guys real quick. Or when I'm more able to do it. Alright, so we like uh, Aurochs first half plus half a run. We like Yomori on the run line, uh, full game, minus one and a half runs. We like over three and a half runs for Hokido, Nippon Ham Fighters, and the Bay Stars. Uh, Chiba Lote, Marines, money line. Hiroshima, Toyo Carp, money line. And then we got over four for the Softbank Hawks and the Yakult Swallows. Alright, that's a plus four zero eight eight. I think five bucks will get you two hundred two oh nine precisely. That's not bad. I don't know if I'm gonna put five or ten on it. But either way guys, uh thanks for listening to the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh I hope it brings us good luck. Hope we catch some parlays again. Hope we can start the streak tonight. And yeah, I guess that's that. So yeah, let's beat the books. Let's get them. Uh, hit me up in the comments. You can write anything you want in the comments. It's all good. Hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe so we can hit that 200 mark. And I appreciate all you guys. Thank you. All right. Good luck. God bless. Kids a lot. Peace.